I'd like to talk to you about the importance of telling stories when you communicate. As a young preacher, I learned one important truth. People will forget your main points, but they'll remember your stories. In fact, I've become convinced I could preach the same sermon with the same points on multiple occasions, and people wouldn't notice. But if I ever tell the same story, it's immediately familiar. What I've discovered, that's the power of a story. Are you harnessing in your communication the power of stories? If you are a communicator, stories, they're your best friend. They take your main point from grayscale to full color. Stories do more in a speech or a presentation than just fill space. They motivate, inspire, challenge, and create memories that become portable. A well-told story is a gift to your listeners. It allows them to say in a, diff say in a different time and place, that reminds me of a story I once heard. If you are a leader, stories become the glue that holds a vision or a team together. Do you remember when? It's the beginning of a story that reminds teammates of a time when the vision came alive, when it was threatened or moved forward. Good leaders in business, at home, on teams, are good storytellers. And here's the good thing. You don't have to create the stories. Many of the best stories come directly from the front lines, from the people that you work with and work for. Your job is to gather and retell them. If you are a mom or dad, family stories are what create a sense of belonging, a sense of rootedness. Family stories reinforce family values. Well, you could sit them down on the couch and lecture them about work ethic. Good luck with, with that. A story about grandpa might serve you better. Everybody, everyone loves a good story.